And the carnival starts again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode two of Breaking Mirrorfield, where golfers of varying handicaps take one of the more notable courses on the open Rota. Rota, I don't know where that word comes from. We're going to Google it later. Just wait. But it's on one of the courses where they play the Open Championship, and this is the first time host of the AIG Women's Open. If you haven't seen episode one, first of all, I don't know what's wrong with you. Well, let's say you haven't seen episode one. You can head over to the link in the description if you want to get caught all up. We'll pick back up where we left off. Bella Angel attempting to break 90. She's off to a solid start at three over through six holes. Incredible birdie on number one. No one was expecting it. You see the cameras all jerk around like, what's going on? Josie Baker, the LA native. She's camped out at the University of St. Andrews and she's trying to break 80. She's six over through six and she's got two shots to play with to reach her ultimate goal of 79 and she's still got 12 holes. Riddle me that. Lucy Simpson representing the R and A. That stands for the Royal and Ancient. Also not really sure of the origin there. We'll look that up later. Four over par going into episode two with her target of 77. She's only got one bogey left in the bank. Last but certainly not least is Clara Young. This uh, young Clara, rather, hails from North Berwick, which is just a mile or a few away. One of the uh, beloved courses on the Scottish coast over here. And she is casually shooting her way through even par and she's trying to break 75. So uh, she's off to a great start. Let's roll that flyover. Hole seven is a par three and plays into the prevailing wind. While the distance of this par three isn't an issue, Getting the ball to hold the putting surface can be. The green slopes back to front and right to left toward three bunkers left of the green. Middle of the green is a good play here. 117 front, 144. We're back, folks. Welcome to the show. First hole is going to be hole seven. Beth Allen, thank you for the voiceover. I feel like we've got a bit of a, a, a comedy here with the caddies and the players just sort of trying to figure out an unfigure outable game. Tell me in the comments, folks, what's your favorite club? I want to know your favorite club on a par three. Clara's just so good. That's a long pitching wedge, y'all. I would not hit pitching wedge here. Is it downwind? Or maybe Clara's just stoked. Yeah, that wasn't going to get all the way back. No, but that's didn't really want it to. Got me there. That might be right in the bunker. There's a strange figure on the green just staring back at us. <laughs> I think he works on the video project, but <laughs> it really looks creepy. I wonder if it's a real figure. I wonder if that, I wonder if like he's going to just disappear in one of these shots. Like here. Oh my God, he's not there. <laughs> Oh my god! If you hit the guy, you win. Scorekeeping. This is a job I can get with. I'm telling you. Should uh, I know what I want you to know. Should we make a shirt that just says scorekeeper? Or like maybe it should say rules. Okay. Unbelievable. Lucy Goosey. This is our specialty pool, long pass. Yes. <laughs> Greg's in the first part and it straightens up, but overall you're about four feet left of that front. I don't know if I could describe yeah. any part of my game as being a specialty. Yeah, big slope, slow part. I think maybe, maybe it would be that I have a lack of terribleness. There's that man again in the background, just standing there. Short. Let's see if there he is. Who is that person? <laughs> it's almost like a UFO. Can we get it? Can we enhance? Can we freeze frame and enhance on this person? Very tall. Probably about 6'3. Oh, and now he's doing something. Oh, wow. Sorry to distract from Clara's incredible birdie putt. Credit to Brian. Thanks. What a true champ. Gives credit to the caddy. Wow. <laughs> Two birdies. I like it. Just all, that's a good close. Two birdies. <laughs> that's what she's measuring. She doesn't measure bogeys. I'm not counting the bogeys. Also a great putt. Yeah, I 
Go oh, Ben. Nice, Lucy. Good bogey. Good bogey from the bunker there. It's totally relatable that she three-putted after saying it's her specialty. I do that all the time. We've made another par. It's a good sign. <laughs> a good two par. Hold on. All right, welcome back or welcome out. Welcome in to the side area of the voiceover where I tell you about something really important, something that made this video possible, Athletic Greens and AG1. Not only was I a customer of Athletic Greens before they came on to partner with Random Golf Club and our films channel and everything we do, I love it. And the reason why I love it is because it clears all the clutter in my kitchen out. I don't need to take a bunch of supplements. I like it because it tastes great. I like it because it promotes gut health, balance, and mental health. The thing I really dislike most about nutritional drinks is the flavor. They don't taste very good. This tastes like heavenly grass boiled into some type of stylish container. I'm into that. Um, I've incorporated this into my morning routine, both at home and on the road, and it helps create sustained energy and immunity throughout the day. I haven't gotten sick in 97 years, which is crazy because I not even have lived that long, but part of the mystery here is in athleticgreens.com slash RGC. So go check that out to get a one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs. The travel packs are pretty sick because they're just like, they're like tea bags and you just pour it in. Thank you for making today's video possible. Athleticgreens.com slash RGC. With a good tee shot, number eight is relatively easy if you can manage to avoid the right fairway bunkers. Most players will opt to position themselves on the left side of the fairway to set up a shot over the cross bunkers. The green falls away right and left, but at the center, it is mostly flat. Nice play. Okay. 440 into the breeze. Yeah, just keep it left in the bunkers. Boom. It's a little left, I think. But the rough here, if you're within reason, there's a reasonable amount of rough. And then obviously, if you get out of that, you, you don't want to be there. Nice cut. I love a good. I feel like Bell is just like so in the moment, you know, it's great to see. Yeah, just in the first cut, I think. Lovely evening at Muirfield. Out of 10, how much fun are you having? 10, obviously. 10? <laughs> Not 11? Yeah, 11. 11. 11, 11 out of 11. <laughs> Found our first bunker of the day. Probably gonna be just a hack out. Definitely gonna be a hack just out. <laughs> Quite close to the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that way. Oh, wow. Well, sort of a medium fried egg, egg no. next to uh, the Grand Canyon here. A lot of these bunkers, it's just in it, penalty shot, out sideways, out backwards. I mean, there's a lot of bunkers I come across in Scotland that I can't see out the top of. <laughs> I mean, I'm short, but other people have this problem too. Yeah, nice shot, Bella. All right, so we're going with the eight iron. We're just gonna lay it up to those bunkers up there because they look awful and hopefully get up and down for par. It sounded beautiful. 189 and 13. <sighs> okay, so two. Two, two. One hot and slightly. Yeah. All right, folks, audio up on this shot. Squared the club face up. 
not fantastic. Thanks. <laughs> nine on soft, nine on. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go for it, but. Paul didn't want you to. Paul, Paul said people make eight if they go in that bunker. Well, so don't go in that bunker. I think eight is something to avoid. I think I would cry if I made an eight. On TV? Snowman? In the summer? I feel like I'm not getting to speak to the other players as much. Bella wants to say hi. I want to say hi. Just say hi. I mean, everyone's, turn, everyone's everyone busy playing golf. Yeah. But it's I mean, good. golf only takes about a minute over the course of four hours, so you've got time. Just go start chatting. That's an interesting yeah, concept. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's like one second of swing. Is that what this video is going to be? Just... It's going to be... <laughs> 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 Overall, you're just like six, see the sprinkler? Yeah. Six inches to the left of that, and I'll come scoop in. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Long putt and queen. Oh. Uh, long putting queen, Sprinkle. if you didn't get that reference, that was an right. alternate cut by ABBA. I'll take that. Long putting queen. Queen behavior right there. You never heard that I can one? never remember these ones that This is popular in the golf world in the 80s. Them, the the Swedish brand. Yeah, there's not a lot of golf in Sweden. Let's just try that. There we go. That'll do. Speed. This eighth hole is really taking no prisoners. Um, kind of, kind of bumming me out a little bit. I don't know if I had a least favorite hole so far in this episode, it'd be eight. I mean, I'm sure it's fun if you're, you know, making birdies, but come on, ah. And this is, it's one of these examples where you, I really want everybody to play well, and they're not playing against each other. But yeah, I mean, this eighth hole, I mean. It's being mean to everybody that's playing. Yeah, good part. Found that one at least. <laughs> Got it in the side door. <laughs> I guess this is just part of golf, I guess. Sometimes you have to deal with mean characters. Man, everybody over par on this hole. We can all agree that we don't like this hole. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. It's fine to have a hole that makes you go over par. Is that for a five par? Five? Or I'm afraid. I think it's, yeah, it's the number one stroke index. I hate hole. that. Yep. There's nothing like walking off a hole and being like, par five or par four? <laughs> It'll be interesting to watch the AIG Women's Open and see what they do on eight, right? The ninth is a short par five that plays into the prevailing wind. The landing area is positioned between left side bunkers and thick right side rough. Out of bounds wall runs through the length of the fairway and can feel uncomfortably close, especially for the second shot. This is one of the toughest layups around as there are fairway bunkers on the right to contend with as well. All right, Claire's looking to get one back here. You gotta be thinking that. Nice drive. It's actually not too bad on it. bounced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's head towards that fence. Get that. If you go over that fence, you have to leave the golf course immediately. It's a different, it's a weird OB rule. Yeah, you just, you can never come back. It's kind of weird. It happened once in a tournament. Bella could drive here on nine. Be all right. Okay. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, good ball there. Yeah. 
how you playing? Um, alright, I think I'm like, well I just doubled that hole, so I'm one over. One over? Yeah, I had a couple birdies. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to see what everyone else is doing. Yeah, I know. You're really Everyone's sad. taking it very seriously today. Yeah, you started well. <sighs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you don't party the first, you can't party them all. I'll start well and I'll finish well. <laughs> Bit of a bad lie here. We're gonna see what we can do. Try to position myself for the uh, for the third shot coming up. Right, look at the love of the tracer, just living in a tracer. I don't think it's worth just laying up short of them. I think we should just try and... Okay, like, like 185 or something? I think as much as you've got, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, All the troubles in line with the pin and to the right. So see these two high trees? Yeah. It's sticking up. That should going to be your line. Something like 160. Okie dokie, 160. Yeah. Yeah, ideal. Yeah, good shot, man. Ideal. It's near Bobba. Near Bobba that, near Bobba that one. Par five. Probably going for the green. You're the longest drive? I think so, yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, some that could have been flowers. a bit kinder, couldn't it? No. Yeah. But, you can't really expect much if it's not on the fairway again. So Two maybe six. just trying to pitch it around one. It's pretty, but it's not ideal. Yeah. So my five iron is 175. We should be fine. Yeah. Seventy-four yards. Okay. Oof. Downwind. Yeah. Ball roll. The ball's Down. gonna roll. Yeah. Why put it near about fifty-five? Oh gosh. I don't really like rolling. Well, keep it low. You want to punch a shot? I don't want to do that. What do you want to do? Put. <laughs> yeah, should we put it? The long putting queen. Out again. <laughs> it's a great song. Perfect. Long putting queen in Sweden, where Abba is from, means something totally different. Good job. I mean, I, I got told to play Lynx golf there, and I refused. I refused to play Lynx golf. I was like, no, I'm going to carry on doing what I want to do. And tell you. It's kind of hard when you don't play these shots to be able to do them. Never learn, do I? Never learn. How's the chat? What are you guys chatting about? We're uh, we're actually just coming up. Deliver on post. Uh, Would you believe? Yeah, we're coming <laughs> up on my old workplace up here. I used to work at Grey Walls. Oh yeah. And then I quit to go and deliver mail for six months. This was during like COVID. No golf on. So. Is there like a golf joke in delivering the mail? Like, is it like sending it in? <laughs> well, they call it Ian Poulter the postman. They got it. He always delivers. Yeah. So. I love Ian Poulter. Yeah. You know where I would be in the driving range or wherever is over this fence. I would just be like <laughs> Where's your mess? Left, right? Austin. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> What'd you make on the last hole? I hit six. You're just two yeah. you're two up, two down, you're even par? I no, I think I'm one over. The bad score game, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> Jojo and Elliot. Yeah. I feel your pain. Scorekeeping is mega challenging. Scorekeeping is really, really challenging. Like, you ever see those images of like uh, the phone operators back in the 60s where there's like a wall of like holes and like one plug and it's like, let me just connect Bill to Will. Uh, Will, where's Will? And then it's just like, that's, that's scorekeeping. It's too many shots. I feel like I'm playing tennis. Nice. 
ways. The hard part is that we're not just keeping score, we're also keeping track of the yardages and the clubs as well. Like here, hard to know, like putter, got it. That was a joke. Ooh, little slider, good par. Mid-length putting queen. Had one over, just coming up on uh, where I used to work. <laughs> Stared out the kitchen, down the 10th fairway, wishing I could play it every single day. So here we are. How does a par feel at, at Mirfield today? Um, I'm pretty happy with a par. Yeah. And normally a par, you're sort of like, oh, yeah, that's fine. But now you're like, okay, par, good. I mean, that going. was for, I mean, you had two back, you had 900 yards of golf <laughs> and nine strokes to get them in. Yeah. Right, you had a par four, 440, and yeah. then you had a par five, 480 yeah. or something. Yeah. The par four, felt, the 440, it felt like par five. Like yeah, it was playing long sure. as well today. Yeah, yeah so, into the wind, yeah. Yeah, so kind of happy with a five there, you know, don't beat yourself up too much. But it's tricky out here. It's tricky. Mm -hmm. And now we start the back nine. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. It's all the scores. <laughs> Just tell me what you got. <laughs> all right, back nine. Are we gonna have a good back nine? Heck yeah. Who's excited? Need, you want to take a quick two-hour break or anything? Everybody good? <laughs> I think we'll cool. pass on the two-hour cool. break. <laughs> Hole 10 is a long par four, and the prevailing winds push tee shots towards a series of bunkers on the right side of the fairway. There are two bunkers 90 yards short of the green. While these twin bunkers typically won't come into play, they effectively block the view into the green on the second shot. The green is flat, so hitting the green in two will set many players up for a birdie. Yeah, this is probably one of the, it's one of the tougher driving holes here. Mm -hmm. So the wind's, gonna, the wind's pushing us away from the bunkers. Well, that's good, we've got the wind off the right. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're all right. Right of the bunker. Yeah. Yeah. You love it. I think we're okay. Love it. <laughs> Miss it, right? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, 470 par 4, that's long for anybody, <laughs> you know? Onto the next. Let's go, Onto Jason. The next. Let's go. Here we go. Let's make some cars. <laughs> I don't think it's looking very good for breaking 80 for me here. <laughs> it's not over yet. No. But. <laughs> There's birdies to be had. Mm, we're all kind of hugging the right side of the 10th fairway where the bunkers are with the wind off the right. I don't really know how that's happened. All right, so Lucy out of the bunker. And we're trying to get Josie out of the bunker here. Uh, just got the facts in. Rota, the etymology is from the early 17th century Latin meaning wheel. Also, uh, it's, a, it's a list, which apparently... Oh, the name is said to allude to the design of the floor of the room in which the court used to sit, which was that of a wheel. I don't know, but it's so it's not short for rotation. 65 is a six hour. Uh, oh no, it is a rotation of persons undertaking some duty or form of work, a list of such persons. So the open rota is a list of courses. So answers to that and more coming soon. And primarily, that is a really good shot. Chunky. 
chunky. Yeah. There's like golf as a story, which is kind of like my job, and then there's golf as a game. Right. They're yeah. different, you know? Right. What is it like playing on camera? Awful. <laughs> really weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I marked that for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, playing golf on camera is definitely... Um, it, it feels, it, it's kind of violating. You know what I mean? You, you feel a bit like no one was supposed to see that. <laughs> like, I'm like, why are you watching? This is not what you should be watching. Um, but in the end, uh, you want to watch it, so we record it. But if you want to be part of the breaking series, there's a way to sign up for that. It's on our website. There's a link down in the description. Check it out, please. And we'd love to have you out. The most important thing to me, other than my clubs on the golf course, probably food. Like, I, I can't go two hours, let alone four hours, without eating or planning my next meal. So, sandwiches, bananas, chocolate. Just depends, you know? But always a sandwich and a banana somewhere. Right, what's the game plan here, Paul? 64 yards. We're gonna link it. We're gonna lob it. And you lob the camera. It. I would say the camera adds about six shots at least, at least. Um, and then as well, I mean, this is a unique round. A lot of people here. Just, what are you gonna? You need to do a, a goal, a goal, a goal. And I mean, you know, I think most of us humans are not goal-oriented people. Like we we function on process, especially with golf. Oh, and you need to be free. Over the hill. Oh, I should have hit the five iron. <laughs> True linksy play, I love it. Or known as the Texas wedge here, Lucy. Nice shot. What uh, what would you have in? Like 170? 168. Yeah, 168. 161 to the So that's a 300 yard drive? Yeah, I guess so. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Pretty good. Even though we're in the middle of the second episode, we're on the first hole of the back nine, just closing it out. Again, 470 yard hole, so a lot of golf was played over the last half a kilometer. On to the next, the 11th. The tee shot on the par 4 11th is completely blind, but the fairway is wide and forgiving, only three small bunkers along its edges. A solid approach is needed as the putting surface is heavily contoured with deep bunkers on all sides, but this is a definite birdie opportunity. It's a good shot. It's actually not bad. <laughs> that would be my t-shirt. Uh, that's actually not bad. <laughs> like, what is that? What is he actually saying there? It's bad, but it's but you're gonna get lucky. Is that what he's saying? Nice shot, Clara. It's actually not bad. You think it's bad, and it is, but you're gonna be okay. Yeah, beautiful. Bella, not holding back on that drive. Oh man, just want to go hit a golf ball. Blank slate. Everyone in driver. Should be okay over there. That's my version of that's actually not bad. I'm just looking at this. I played here once, but I was on acid, so. <laughs> not true, not true, not true, not true. I was not on acid. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Yeah, it's, such a, it's like, uh, 
don't know what you call that, like an infinity green. It you know when you've got like an infinity green. pool and that you look out to the sea, it's like that. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Actually managed to hit a fairway. I know it's shocking, but I have. We're, we're going to try to make the most of it. Oh, this view is amazing. I mean, this is really on par with the best views in golf that I've seen. I mean, it's just so wide open and beautiful, and you have the course and you have the sea. And... It's a great office. <laughs> you can see Arthur's seat in Edinburgh. Josie has a, such a great attitude, you know, like taking in the surrounds and really enjoying the moment is a, is obviously, you know, a big feature of enjoying the game of golf. I'm, I woke up in the middle of my REM cycle last night, so I'm, I'm a bit groggy. It's good I'm not playing today. Cancel it. Cancel the day. Shut it I woke down. up in my REM cycle. Shut it down. I can't believe you've never played here. No. No. Good talk. <laughs> nice drive. I think it could be the first time I've been on the fairway today. On the 11th hole. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. I know where it is. Like, this is like my 87. Try and land it about 80. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> oh no. He's on the back edge of the green, you see him? It's like, is he on land? He's doing good, yeah. Uh, hitting the ball nicely. Sorry, hitting the fairways now. Is he, is he with us? Is he surveying the golf course for some other purpose? Why is he always there? I wonder if he's ever been hit. Go, nice putt. Run it by. Oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah. When that ball did everything but go in. It even like, it even kind of got it like around the hole. It like thought it was going in, and then I don't, even even it was surprised. Oh. Nice. I love the high speed lip in. You know, it all happened so fast. You know, it's kind of like when you're parking and you just like scrape the curb with your brand new tires. You know, your wheels, and you're like, ah. But except this is a good thing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Remember that moment. He fell backwards into the bunker and didn't lose a beat. The 12th is a short par 4. Players will be rewarded with a shot in the middle of the fairway. The green sits lower than the fairway, but accuracy is required. Any shots right of the green can be disastrous if a player finds any of the five bunkers on the green's right side. Any shots left will fall steeply off the green complex or find the lone bunker on the green's left edge. All right, the final hole of episode two is underway. Looks like Lucy's going to be position A. Stay there. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you're probably going. 
12 hole, this is the last hole of this episode. Um, I'm laying down, getting ready for a little break, I guess. So that's nice. Oh, nice cut. Right yeah, nice. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, Clara just goes, you know. Nice shot. Good players have a really uh, repeatable pre-shot routine. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing new, nothing new, nothing different. Just keep it the same, you know? What a view. So much great. <laughs> really great angle there for me. Eat you. Go. Go. Yeah, I deserve that one. I think the sandwich helped you, yeah. Feel some birdies coming because of the sandwich. For me, it never helps. Whenever I eat, I get worse. It's weird. It's tough because I have to eat, you know what I mean? It's kind of a catch-22. I can either be bad because I'm hungry, or I can be bad because I just ate. So it's fair to say, I think the uh, course record isn't going to isn't going to be threatened today, today's score, but I feel like I'm holding on nicely. It's not that bad. I mean, a couple doubles, a few missed putts, but pretty solid play, I'd say. Good vibes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Sunlight really starting to get really beautiful right now. Sunset at Mirfield, special <laughs> night. You get the feeling like something special is going to happen on the way in. Really like how Josie is right, carrying home Lynx golf here. Yeah, nice. Kind of just low running shots, just playing it on the ground. Oh, Josie is. looking for a three. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I'm a fan of the, you know, take the break out of it. Hit it a little bit hard. I like that. Yeah, that's about it, yeah. You get the feeling like she's gonna make this one, don't you? Yeah, it was a great read, great read. I mean, that's all you're trying to do is just get it near the hole and don't stress about it. No stress par. Open at St. Andrews a few weeks later. Really good to see her. She's in such such a good mood. Nice barbell. We live another day. <laughs> I know the feeling. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. That does it for episode two from Random Golf Club Films at Mirfield in Scotland. Thank you, Bella, Lucy, Clara, and Josie. The final episode is going to come out tomorrow on Random Golf Club Films. So. Get that in your dish.